the Salty Sea. Once upon a time, there lived two brothers in a village. The elder brother was very rich, but the younger brother was very poor. One would spend lavishly on all the festivals, while the other had nothing. Not even food to eat or clothes to wear. The younger brother's family would often starve, for he hardly had any money. One day, he decided to ask his brother for help. Brother, my children are very hungry. Please, lend me some money. I will buy some food for them. You always come here to beg for money. I have nothing to give you. Get out! Hurt by his words, the younger brother left from there. On his way back home, he met an old man. He was carrying a bundle of wood. Oh, hold on. That must be heavy. Let me help you with it. Oh, thank you. What happened, child? Why do you look so worried? I don't know what to do. My family is starving, and I am unable to bring them food. I am so helpless. What do I do? Is that so? I can help you. If you help me take this bundle of wood home, I will give you something that will make you rich. I will. He carried the bundle of wood and followed the old man to his house. Thank you, child. You can keep this here. May God bless you and make you rich. The old man then handed over a sweet bread and said, Take this and go to the jungle. As you walk ahead, you will come across three plum trees. There is a hill behind those trees. If you look closely, you will find a small hut. Go inside that hut. Three midgets live there. They love sweet bread. They would definitely want to buy it from you. Give it to them, but don't ask for money in return. Instead, ask for a grinder made of stone. Following the old man's instructions, he went to the jungle. After passing several trees, he came near one tree. As he looked closely, he realized that there were three plum trees in a line. As he walked towards the trees, he saw that right behind it was a small hut. As he entered the hut, the midgets began to scream at him. Who are you? How did you come inside? Uh, uh I am. Um, he must be a thief. What have you come to steal? What? I am not a thief. I was... Just then, the midget saw the sweet bread in his hands. Immediately, all their anger was gone. One of them said, Ooh! We must have that sweet bread. You can take anything in return. All right. I will give this to you, but you have to give me the grinder made of stone in return. We agree. But remember, this is not an ordinary grinder. As you grind, it will fulfill every wish that you ask for. And once you are done, cover it with a red cloth. That will make it stop. He took the grinder from the midgets and returned home. As soon as he reached, he saw that his wife and children were on the ground starving. He quickly asked his wife to spread a cloth on the ground. He then kept the grinder on the cloth and began to grind. Grinder! Oh, grinder! Give me curry, grinder! Oh, grinder! Give me curry! The grinder began to produce curry. He then covered the grinder with a red cloth. And the grinder stopped producing curry instantly. He took the cloth off and began to grind again. Grinder! Oh, grinder! Give me rice, grinder! Oh, grinder! Give me rice! In no time, the grinder produced a heap of rice. Everyone ate to their heart's content. Every day, the younger brother would ask the grinder to produce many things. Flour, lentils, millets, and much more. 
He then would carry everything to the market to sell it. This way he earned a lot of money. Soon he became very rich. He built a big house for himself and his family. Everyone now had new clothes to wear. Everybody was happy, except for the elder brother who was now very jealous. How could this be? A few days back he came begging for money. And now suddenly he is so rich, something is wrong. The elder brother hid himself in his younger brother's house to find out the truth. It didn't take long for him to find out the secret. The next day, he stole the grinder and decided to leave the village along with his family. Let's go! Quickly! Move! A little away from the village, there was a seashore. He reached the seashore and left with his family in a boat to go to a far-off island. On the way, he decided to test the grinder. Grinder! Oh, grinder! Give me salt, grinder! Oh, grinder! Give me salt! The grinder immediately began to produce salt. But now, the elder brother didn't know how to stop the grinder. The grinder kept producing salt. The weight was too much, and the boat sank with everybody in it. Only if he had not envied his younger brother, the elder brother and his family could have lived happily. This is why we must not envy others and stay happy with what we have. This is what happens if we demand too much. Don't you compare yourself with your friends and demand for new toys from your parents? Or fight with your friends because they have better toys than you? The elder brother did the same and we all saw what happened. Tell me, will you ever be jealous of anyone now? Never! We will never make that mistake! Never! We will never make that mistake!